I got to tell you what happened this morning. I was at Walmart with my wife, and she was taking her time like she usually does, and I was bored. And I wandered around the store kind of aimlessly and not really aware of where I was, and suddenly I found myself in the in the, the young ladies' dressing area, kind of, the you know, where all the clothes are and the windows and uh, the, the mirrors and the, and the little stalls and all. And there was a, there was a, about a 16, maybe 17 year old, very cute young lady. She was standing in front of a mirror trying on this sundress and admiring herself in the sundress. And she's very cute. And next, next to her, kind of a few foot away, was this real odd little guy. He a little older, you know, quite a bit older. And he was, he was kind of a snively looking little feller. Had this real pointed little nose, real thin, and it sort of flared when he breathed, and the light would, would hit it, and it, it was very thin skin, and the light sort of illuminated his nose, almost like you could see the light through it. And he had enough oil in his hair to crank the school bus, and it, 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 it little tiny, little thin, little uh, mustache, and sort of rat-like teeth, and he just really didn't look right. But, but I thought it was probably her father, you know, I mean, although he wasn't really looking at her. He was, you know, I mean, and he didn't see me. And, and I, he was standing funny, though. He was, he kind of had one foot sort of over towards the girl, sort of, sort of out from him. And I, I looked down, and that foot, he was kind of moving it around. And right in the, right where his big toe uh, the shoe where his big toe is had this little flap that that he had lift up with his toe and his big toe stuck out no sock or anything just his, his toe and I, I thought well that's odd I, you know maybe he's got a sore toe and he needs to give it air or something I don't know but as, as I look all of a sudden right on the end of that toe right on the end of his big toe I saw a little eyeball it was the strangest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. It was like a little fish eye or a lizard's eye, maybe. And it was blinking and it was kind of looking around. And I realized that with that toe eyeball, he was looking up that young girl's dress. And it, I, I started just go over and slap the crap out of him because it, it was wrong and, and it offended me. And I, you know, but I, I started to take a step, but I stopped myself immediately because I realized that this guy. He probably, well, he definitely had an eyeball in his toe all, all of his life, and it must have been really rough growing up. I mean, he, you go to the beach, you always get sand in it, you know, and you can't play football, and the other kids are always probably kicking it and making fun of him, and he, I'm sure he had a really rough life, and it, it would have just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't go slap him and bring attention to that eyeball. So I ran off, and I found myself almost immediately in, in this area of the store that I don't go too much, it was uh, the uh, women's feminine hygiene row. And they had all these boxes of stuff and these bags and these bottles. And it was just a whole row of this stuff. And, <laughs> and around the top shelf, there was this little bottle, about this big, about that big around. And it said right on it, extra strength women's toenail polish remover. No, no kidding. Extra strength women's toenail polish remover and I grabbed it and I unscrewed the lid and oh the smell just the fumes coming out would make your eyes water it was horrible so I set the lid back on it and I grabbed just as much stuff as I could possibly just off every shelf just as much as I could possibly carry and I headed back I got back and sure enough the little snively uh, guy was still standing there and he was still looking up the girl's dress and no one knew what was going on but me I took about three steps toward him and I intentionally tripped and as I went down, boxes and bags and stuff just went everywhere and busted open and just, just littered the floor with all this stuff. Was, oh, and, and right before I hit the ground, I dumped this entire bottle of extra strength women's toenail polish remover right on that eyeball. <laughs> I did. And he went to jump in that little eye was going like this, blinking in this water and then it was going that little flap was going like this, you know. <laughs> it, was, it was he took off running. Last I saw him he was like hobbling on one foot and looking at that eye and running down the street and out of sight. And I felt good because, you know, not only had I not embarrassed this man who had an obvious uh problem and, and but but I had I had done good and no one really knew anything except that a, a clumsy guy who was there buying a bunch of feminine hygiene stuff for his wife probably um, 
had tripped and fallen. But anyway, I, I really thought I, I should share that with you. And uh, thank you.